welcome to Only BB Guns video review channel. Today we're going to be looking at the SRC XR8. Let's get it out of the box and have a look at it. We've got a basic paper manual, tells you how to load all the basics of the gun, do's and don'ts, a bit of chinglish in there. Uh, something that I can make out to be a troubleshooting guide, but we like to work these out things out ourselves, so off we go. Basic pack of BBs, don't use them. Get some decent ones, get high quality. Okay, the thing with the XR8, it takes the same magazine as what our, well, the SRC, SR36 range tape. <coughs> so they're cross compatible, also with the drum mag for the G36 as well. Or the SR36. Basic fill of the mag, open the trap door, pour your BBs in the hole there, close it, wind it up till it winds no more, slap it in the gun. That's the mag. You get an 8.4 volt, 11, oh, 1200 milliamp battery, nunchuck battery for this. Your charger, leave that in the box, and the gun. Okay, it does come with an unjamming rod as well, but no one needs to know how to use that. Okay, now this is the beast. Nice heavyweight gun, long sight. If you notice, it comes with a scope. And it does have a three quarter reticle sight, which is adjustable, quite a nice thing. I believe it can be removed via these screws, but you'd have a big open gape there. Now, this has a unique sighting on it. At the, just before the sight here, you've got a little push down, flick that up, if you can get it in line, and it gives you a second sight as you're looking through. But on that note, on the front here, you've got a little sight in there, you push that, and it flicks up. So you have a secondary sight for lining up, which is ideal for keying in your scope. So we just pop them down and we move on to the rest of the gun. Now the internal to this is very much a, a near enough a G36 or an SR36. Uh, same gearbox, select the switch, even you'll notice that the charging handle is they pinched it from the SR36. Ambidextrous, both ways, which reveals your hop-up, which is a cylinder hop. You can push it back and just push the end tabs down. So push that back straight, it'll lock open, and then you can play around with the hop-up. To release it, literally pull back, and away you go. Sling loops, two at the front there, one at the rear there. Magazine will just push straight in like so. You've got ambidextrous fire selector, safety, semi to full auto. Nice smooth motion on that. Very nice gun, nice weight, excellent accuracy, nice long flash hider on it. The battery goes in the foregrip here, which is you literally push that in, the little knob there. Push it in, pull it out the other side, gives you the pin. Can be stored on the top rail here. And then you just simply pull that open and you connect your battery in there and tuck it in. So that's the battery. Put that back in, so that just pushes back in there. You have, from what I can make out, six point retractable stock which is pulled by that button there and in it goes so you can release it and extend it, it is a bit stiff but nice little stock there adjustable for the site this was chrono today at 350 fps with 0.2 gram bbs now not a bad little gun i personally i like the g36 or the sr36 or the variants of it because I think it's a nice all-rounder gun. But this is 
I don't know. It's growing on me. But it's a nice gun, nice piece. Not bad. Found on our site. Give it a go. Don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel, keep up to date with our latest uh, bits and pieces. Always trying to bring you low prices at Only BB Guns. That's all for now. See you next time.